Okay. Eric, if you do not mind. Uh, okay. We'll, we'll have someone tell you to have all the kids go over there soon. Okay? So, anyway, good morning. Good morning. I'm happy to have everyone here. And to the world out there, good morning. Now, that is my topic here. The mirror does lie. I have a question for you. Now, this involves for the kids as well, and I'm happy that the kids may know this. Next. <clears throat> Alright, kids, I need your help to help me here, okay? Who said this? Magic mirror on the wall? Who is the fairest of them all? Gordon? Gordon said Gordon. <laughs> No? Don't know? Oh, then it said Snow White. Next. It's amazing that maybe most of us haven't seen that movie really for many years. But every person knows what it's from. It's from an awesome and neat movie. What movie is it? Next. Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Remember that wicked queen. She said, Magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairest of them all? That magic mirror said, Snow White. What happened to that queen? Angry, angry and jealous. And she became the worst of the one. What? I can't tell you. If you have not seen this movie, can't tell you. So, next. <clears throat> this man, Walt Disney, this son, Disney. Why? He came up with the idea of Mickey Mouse. So, Disney. This movie was going to cost over $250,000, but later, after the movie was finished, it really cost him $1.5 million. And which really he was forced to borrow money from his own home. And his wife, Lillian, said it will never happen. But successfully did. And what's funny about this history, Walt Disney wanted to make a movie out of the book. When he read it up, he thought, I'm going to make a movie. And he successfully had it. Now, today, you go to California, you will see a neat thing. What? Next. You'll notice. You see Dopey, Dot, Happy, Sleepy, Sneaky, Grumpy, and Bash. They have the support of that building. And this is how he started his work. From a book he read, changed to a movie. That's really neat. And it all just started with an evil queen looking at a mirror. Now, today, I want to show you something. Hmm. This mirror has different words written on it. It has the word, oh. It has the word Satan, lie, dumb, mean, murmur. But another of says gospel, kindness. James chapter 1, <coughs> verses 22 through 25 said, Do what God's teaching says. Don't just listen and do nothing. 
when you only sit and listen, you're only fooling yourself. Hearing God's teaching and doing nothing, just like looking at a face in the mirror, you do nothing about what you saw. You go away. Immediately, you forget how bad you look. But when you look at God's perfect law that sets people free, pay attention to it. If you do what it says, you have God's blessing. Never just listen and forget what you've heard. Hmm. So that means all of these words, people think that's nothing. Why? Nah. Where? Nah. Evil things, that. Nah. But it overlooks something. God's work there. I see love. I see church. I see Christian. But Satan is working. Right now he's working. No. It's always to tell the truth. Every morning, we often look at these mirrors, make changes. We don't have to say these things. Whoa, I need a shake. <coughs> Ew, my hair needs washing. <coughs> I need to brush my teeth. Shirt looks a lot clearer on me than it did on the fake person. Often we look at the mirror every day. But do we look at God's spirit or say, oh, you don't need to change, you're fine. We will add and add and add. Let me show you something. Oh. Because the mirror itself does not lie, it always tells the truth. The evil queen looked into the mirror, she did not like the truth. She did not like what the mirror said to her. Right after she heard Snow White is the fairest one, she became jealous, she became selfish, she wanted to murder Snow White. Later in the story, talk about how she became from bad to worse. She turned herself into a witch, the evil witch who planned and planned to kill Snow White. But successfully at the end, Snow White lived. Want to know how? Go watch that movie. Lived. What did we say? We made our aim to look in the mirror and say, oh, that's not what I need to look like. We made adjustments. Then tomorrow comes around, look in the mirror and you thought, well, I need to fix that. Then the next day, the same thing. And the next day, the next, the next, and the next. Suppose Satan says, don't worry, I'll add something for you. Satan, add, add, add all over this mirror. And you can't see yourself truthfully. But, you better your life to destroy. 
men. That's what it means to look in the mirror and continue to work. And best of all, let's not forget what we read this morning in verse 25. But when you look into God's perfect law that sets people free, pay, pay attention to it. If you do what it says, you will have God's blessing. Never just listen to his teaching and forget what you heard. People today that come to church, oh, I see my friends, I see my family, all the time, and kids, I'm excited at lunchtime, and go home, what happens? I think Satan adding more to the narrative. That gossip, hate, thief, anger, depression, bullying, lust, different things. Satan's still adding, adding, adding. This mirror represents you and me. Doesn't matter if we still are sinners. God is seeing the mirror saying, What are you doing? You only have God, only have Jesus. But the sins continue and continue, and then you destroy the life. And what happened? Then. You look at yourself in the mirror. Do you like what you see? Okay. I'm going to do something that may hurt you. Satan is playing. Thinking. Sin is adding to your life. What happened? Mm -hmm. Obey 
feature. Don't become stubborn because what happened, Satan's going to win. And this will happen to you. I hope this lesson will encourage you to change your life and repent. Thanks for paying attention. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And let us sing.